Well, Spain um, uh, has a federated health system under the responsibility of the autonomous communities, uh, 17 total in Spain, although with a common portfolio, um, genetic services being quite well covered through the country. It's, a, not, it's not very homogeneous because the, depending on the autonomous community can change um, in structure and organization and uh, from one to another. In Galicia, for instance, this is Northwest of Spain, my community, every, everything is being carried out in the Galician Foundation of Genomic Medicine that I, am, that I am the director of this foundation and everything is concentrated in a single facility. But I'm not going to describe the situation in Spain, but uh, to describe a program called IMPACT that I think can be relevant for the, for the One Million Genome Initiative. This uh, program is, um, is, um, uh, is very much in the front door between research and diagnosis, and it was launched uh, last year by the Instituto de Salud Carlos III, that is, is our um, is our National Research for Health uh, organization. And, um, and, it's, um, and it has started um, almost a few weeks ago. And, um, and I think I'm going to concentrate my presentation describing this program. The program has quite an important budget, um, aims to be the infrastructure for the National Strat Strategy of Personalized Medicine. It's not a strategy itself, but it um, pretends to be the, the structural basis of the, of the strategy. It has three programs, uh, one called Impact Cohort, another one of Impact Data, and another one in Impact Genomics, and two transversal strategic actions, one in, in ethical, legal, and social aspects, and um, a second one in internationalization, very, very much linked to the, to the one million genome initiative. In Pat Court is um, um, we have we have in, we have in Spain a national DNA um, biobank, but uh, there was a lack of in Spain of a national cohort. It, I think it was a, a pity, and um, uh, because there are very good cohorts in many countries, the most uh, recent species in Spain was a cohort linked to the to the a zero prevalence study in COVID. But um, a, now in this program, we, we are aiming to establish a cohort of 200,000 people, representative of all the Spanish population, and, um, and with implementation through the, through the state and integrated into the national health system. And, um, and um, the cohort is, um, is um, being designed, I think it's quite well designed from the point of view of the phenotypic information, um, even include image and everything is quite rich. And, um, and uh, because of all the re re regional health services of all autonomous communities are integrated into the initiative, uh, I think the representation of different um, play, um, regions in Spain is quite well covered because from the genetic point of view, Spain is quite diverse. For instance, in my community, that this is this one here in the Northwest, there is a, an impressive population of structure and um, it's very more homogeneous in the rest of the country. And, um, and I think this is uh, quite important. This impact cohort um, a program has um, different working packages, including uh, the design, and a strategy of selection of recruitment of people, the definition of measures and variables, and um, the biobanking and collection of biological samples, the follow-up of the information, the statistical methodology that data quality control, and um, ethics is now integrated into this uh, transversal line, um, logistic and implementation of, of the field work, um, and record linkage and communication. Impact data is being coordinated by the Barcelona Supercomputer Center by Alfonso Valencia. And the idea is to integrate there all the medical uh, uh, oriented data, the cohort data and the genomic data um, um, 
in, in, in a common data analysis, uh, data analysis environment and being interpreted and analyzed by a multidisciplinary team. There are many, many groups in, in across Spain integrated into this, um, into this um, program. They have also different working packages. Uh, one is um, uh, what deals with the, uh, the computational infrastructure for, for management and data integration. And, the, and then the ones related with integration analysis and interpretation of genomic and clinical data and interconnection between all these data and image, image as well, as well as quality control. And they are going to prioritize um, in different actions the use case in rare diseases. I am coordinating myself from Santiago de Compostela, the genomic, uh, the, the impact genomics. Um, uh, we have different actions. I think it's quite an important program. Um, uh, uh, there are, we have started with three sequencing centers. The idea was not to make an investment in infrastructure in sequencing. So all the sequencing centers participating in the initiative, they, they should have uh, a, some requirements. The requirements were at least one Novasic, uh, 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 five uh, petabytes of storage uh, capacity, uh, to have robotics and management capacity for more than 30,000 30, samples per year, and to have implemented quality control and quality management schemes and common limbs. Now there are three centers, uh, centers so far with these capacities is in Barcelona, the CENAC that is coordinating these, uh, these uh, working packages, Pamplona, Navarra, in Asertic, and our center in Santiago. Uh, we, we hope that this year, another center in Madrid, another one in Andalusia, and probably maybe another one in the Canary Islands will be also integrated this network of sequencing centers. We have decided also to start uh, very much in connection with the three, with the one million genome initiatives, three use cases, one for rare diseases. Um, I'm going to describe this more in detail now. Another another use case for cancer. Um, this is for familial cancer and for cancer uh, of uh, on a non primary, primary site, I mean, cube cases, um, we need to advance in somatic mutations. And the third use case is in pharmacogenomics. With, uh, we are going to concentrate in severe uh, adverse reactions to drugs and vaccines. And, uh, and in, this, uh, in these working packages, we also um, aim to, um, to, to do some population genomics. Uh, especially genotyping uh, of the whole cohort and, um, and in connection with the, with the, with the, with, with the 500,000 um, European initiative uh, to, to be able, we hope to be able to, to sequence um, 50,000 samples. There are a lot of clinical associated centers and, um, and a coordinator for any for, either, for every autonomous communities. And, um, and concerning rare diseases, the idea is that we are going to, I mean, it's something, it's not, um, some analysis is quite well covered across the country. So that means patients without diagnosis, um, um, uh, having at least um, full genome sequencing or at least a clinical exome. In these cases, we, do, uh, we are going to do full genome sequ uh, sequences of individual patients. We have decided not to go with trios, but with individual patients or transcriptome analysis in some cases. Um, the samples are collected and the same as informed consent and the clinical information, basically HPO fields. Um, and uh, these are going to, the samples are sent to genomic sequencing centers. Uh, they are a clinical experts uh, network, the final panel apps, very similar to the panels, uh, panel apps of genomics England, um, uh, procedures and the lab and clinical reports models. Um, the sample we, we already have linked to developments made in the SENAC, uh, uh, RD Connect and tools to, to analyze and prioritize uh, variants. 
the raw the raw data will be downloaded in the in EGA, and the and the analyzed data will be uh, integrated in we hope now in Spain in but um, later in federated platforms. Um, the clinical centers they have access to the technical reports and to dynamic data with um, friendly tools for analysis and interpretation. And uh, well, we are very excited and and um, and happy with the budget we have for the project. And um, and and I think it's it's going to be quite an important project. And. Um,